and all week long, we're taking you inside some of the most haunted places in the basin. You'll get an inside look and hear stories behind the hauntings. And ABC Big 2's Ben Peck joins us now live in studio. Ben, you're taking us inside Barn Door Steakhouse. That's right. The restaurant's always served up some great options for customers, but one section offers a spooky special as well. The Barn Door Steakhouse has been a staple in Odessa for decades. In 1972, the restaurant's owner at the time installed an expansion. It is so cool for us to actually have a piece of history that sits right here in Odessa next to the Barn Door Steakhouse. The Pecos Depot is home to the restaurant's bar area. It was originally built in the late 1800s as a train stop in Pecos. After it was moved to Odessa, some patrons began to notice something odd. They're like, oh yeah, we, we can see it, you know, and, and it's, it's right there in the, uh, in the ticket office. Several customers said they could sense a spirit. Others even claimed they could see him. Short man with a derby hat, a white shirt, khaki pants, black shoes, and he was just kind of hanging out and watching stuff. Those working at the Barn Door Steakhouse have named him Billy. The restaurant's current owner says he's had a few run-ins himself. Other employees have reported ashtrays scattered across the floor and the light in the ticket office flickering on and off. If it was dark or, you know, after hours or something like that, I would always talk to Billy, you know, and say, hey, Billy, it's me, you know, I'm friendly, I'm just up here working on some stuff or whatever. There may even be photographic evidence of the ghost. This picture of the depot was taken in 1904. Some believe the shadow on the right is none other than Billy the Ghost. His spirit has made the Barn Door Steakhouse a popular destination for ghost hunters. We had a we had a group that stayed here till like four in the morning, and um, the next day when they reported back to me, they told me that there was a lady screaming. That they picked up a voice of a lady screaming, "Help me!" But why did Billy stay at the Pecos Depot? Some time ago, a member of a nearby tribe offered his explanation. After spending some time on the property, he described Billy as a drifter. He believed Billy stayed at the depot to look for work, but after not finding any, Billy had one final confrontation. And he became disgruntled, and some of the locals took him out with rifles. And I said, rifles? How do you, how do you know rifles? And he said, oh, we saw them. We saw him shoot him. And if you're interested in getting a taste of Billy's personality, there's a whole section on the menu dedicated to Billy's favorites. Caitlin?